So, hey guys, I just decided to do this really short video, and I mean, I'm on my way home. I thought I would just do, hopefully uninterrupted. So, it, it's a good, it's a good outcome video. I'm just, I'm just very overwhelmed, I guess, with everything. Long story short, nobody had gotten back to me. My doctor's office, um, it's called a med team through the app that I use for my doctor's office. And yesterday was a really bad day. Today's a really bad day too in regards to pain. Why am I out? Because I have to get stuff. I don't have anybody to, to get it for me. So I mean, I have to do it myself. Just grin and bear it. Um, so I called my doctor's office this morning and was like, somebody needs to help me. Somebody please help me. I need to go see a surgeon. Whether surgery is the outcome, which I guess I'm still in denial, you know, that's yet to be determined. But, so my persistence paid off. Not only did they find me a doctor, they actually made an appointment for me this Thursday afternoon. Sadly, it is, I don't know, 15, 20 miles away. It's in the same office building as my ENT. I'm just gonna tell you, it's in Daly City. So Google that if you want. Um, it just makes life a lot more difficult. You know, I'm not thinking of myself, I'm thinking of the girls. You know, when I had my nose surgery, it was oh dark early and it was, you know, same day procedure and it was, in all honesty, it was, it was miserable. I would go through 10 colonoscopies other than any other thing. So the thought of being put under again and having to come home with a vital organ missing, it's, it's so overwhelming and so unbelievable. I can't even, I can't even process it. So I really, really, really need your prayers. I, I hope to God there is some miracle drug or something other than surgery. I mean, I'll try anything. It's like I've been crying the last three days because I don't want this. Who wants surgery? Who who wants surgery? Not me. So, please pray that there's another option out there. And let me just, you know, reiterate. This problem with my gallbladder is not the stones. Yes, I have three. Yes, they may be irritating the gallbladder itself. The problem is it's working at 71% capacity. So it's not just the stones. It's not working right. So, you know, before anybody says, oh, just change your diet or they're just going to take the stones or they're just going to do that. I mean... I don't, I don't know what he's going to say. I have no idea. All I know is I hope he gets all the reports, all the diagnostic testing that I've had done in the last eight weeks, seven weeks, whatever, and then he can come to a conclusion. And, you know, let's not forget, I have to go and beg my friend again, you know, not only to take me, which is bad enough. But who wants to be left alone when you get back from surgery? Legit surgery. Not me. You know, and she might... I'm just thinking of all these scenarios. You know, she might have to take me and then come all the way back and check on the girls. I don't trust my neighbor. I don't want to say that. I mean, she's older and the girls are very crafty and... They're very quick, but I mean, my, my, you know, my property is, is gated. It's fenced, but 
I don't trust very many people. I could maybe have my other neighbor come over and, you know, check things out, check and see if the girls are okay. You know, it's just, this isn't a 15 minute nose surgery. This isn't a 30 minute colonoscopy. I am scared to death. And I really just, I really want my parents. I really want a relative, somebody that understands all this, but there isn't anybody and please don't feel sorry for me and please don't pity me and I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm just overwhelmed. It's just one more thing and one more thing and one more thing and I'm, I'm tired of being in pain. So... That's the latest update. The next update will be on Thursday. I'll probably do one on the way back from the doctor's office because I'll have so much time to talk and to update you. And um, please, please just keep those prayers coming because I feel like I'm losing my mind. And that's not a good thing. So take care and thank you so much for all your support and your love and your concern. Bye.